Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. Register now for the Burn Savannah Church of Nazarene Evening Institute. They are providing quality education at an affordable cost. They are now registering and the first 10 persons to sign up before August 26. The registration fee will be waived. They are offering courses at the CSEC level in English A, Mathematics, Human and Social Biology, IT, Entrepreneurship and Social Studies. Classes begin in the week of September 11. For more information, call our WhatsApp 876 827 1024. That's 876 827 1024. In the news today, two 71 year old men they have been arrested and charged by the Mount Salem police for assaulting a 72 year old man. This incident, it took place at Branch Hall in the Rosites area of St. James. We are told that last week, Wednesday, a man, he is known as Mr. Spence. He was born in the year 1950. He is almost 73 years old. He went to a shop in the community where he lived when an argument developed between himself and a man named Stanton Scott, but he is popularly known as Scotty. Next month, Scotty, he will be 72 years old and he lives in the same Rosites area. It is said that during the argument, Scotty, he got mad and he punched Mr. Spence in his belly. Both of them grabbed up and started fighting. <laughs> so, you know what grabbed up means, right? Well, while them grabbed up and a fight, it is alleged that a man, his name is Benford Reed, but he is popularly known as Toto. He celebrated his 71st birthday in May, just gone. He is Scotty's uncle. It is alleged that Toto, he used a piece of iron to hit Mr. Spence to his chest and his back. It is further alleged that Scotty, he used a piece of board to hit Mr. Spence on his head causing him to fall to the ground where he was knocked out cold. We are told that Mr. Spence, he was subsequently treated at the Cornwall Regional Hospital. A report was made to the police and almost 72-year-old Scotty and his 71-year-old uncle, Toto, they were arrested and charged by the police. They were given station bail and they'll be going to the courts shortly. <laughs> Boy, may I tell you. Now, in this next story, a 57-year-old Great One Portmore security guard, he's facing sexual offense charges. His name is Lincoln Farkison. He was born on July 11, 1966. Like I said, he's a security guard and he's living in the Cumberland area of Portmore. We are learning that Lincoln and a 15-year-old girl they are living at the same address but different apartments. You know how the rental property thing go, right? Well, it is alleged that for a while now, big Great One security guard, Lincoln, he has been putting argument to this 15-year-old girl. She has, however, been resisting him. It is further alleged that on Saturday, August 5, the 15-year-old girl, she was asleep in her room. At first, she thought that she was dreaming, but when she opened her eyes, there was big, great one, 57-year-old Lincoln with one of her breasts in his mouth and one of his hands was fondling the other one. The young girl, she made an alarm and big, great one, Lincoln, he ran out of the room. A report was made to the police who commenced investigation. 57-year-old Lincoln Farkison, he was picked up by the police. He was arrested and charged for 1. Sexual touching of a child and 2. Sexual grooming of a child. And he'll be going to the courts 
shortly. And talking about sexual touching. A husband has been arrested and charged for grievous sexual assault. His name is Conroy Morrison. He is 51 years old and he is living in the Johns Hill area of Helsha. The allegations are that this husband and his 47-year-old wife, they are separated but they are still living in the same house. It is alleged that one day last week, both of them, they had an argument. It is alleged that the husband, he used his feet to pin down his wife in a sofa in the house. It is further alleged that he pushed one of his hands under her skirt, then forcibly inserted two of his fingers. A report was made to the police and Conroy, he was picked up. He was officially charged after a question and answer session in the presence of his lawyer. So, he'll be going to the courts shortly. This next incident, it took place last night. Tuesday, August 8th, almost 9 o'clock. It took place at Sabrina Bar at Hartford in the parish of Westmoreland. We are learning that the bartender and three customers, they were in the bar when a white Honda step wagon drove up and stopped. Four hoodlums jumped out of the step wagon. They were armed with rifles and handguns. They entered the bar and Juk down the bartender and the customers, ordering them to lay face down. They then proceeded to rob them of cellular phones, cash and top shelf liquors. The hoodlums, they also forced open five gaming machines and removed the bill acceptors from the machines with all the cash. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape in the said Honda step wagon. Just like that now in this next incident a 25 year old guy from Taspen in spanish town he's battling for life in hospital well we haven't gotten any update since morning as to his status but up to yesterday afternoon he was still here with us tuesday august 8th about some minutes after seven o'clock it took place right behind the ferry police station in the parish of St. Catherine, we are learning that the guy, he went into the area to collect some money. We are getting some reports, but we are still doing some digging to ascertain why he went there to collect that money. We are told that whilst he was in the area, he was pounced on by hoodlums who were armed with guns. The hoodlums, they opened gunfire at him, hitting him all over his body. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape. He was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was admitted in a very, very serious condition. Like I said, we continue to dig and will definitely be updating this story in a subsequent video. The mayhem. Now, this next incident, it took place yesterday morning. Tuesday, August 8th, about 9.30. It took place at Moy Hall in the parish of St. James. We are learning that residents of the area, they heard gunshots being fired. When the shooting subsided, they went and made checks. We are told that a guy, his name is Rahamoon Gillen. Next month, September 22, he would be celebrating his 24th birthday and he was living at Tower Hill in the parish of St. James. We are told that his lifeless body was seen by residents lying face down in a pool of blood along the roadway. As a result, the police were called and when they arrived on the scene, we are told that Rahamoon, he was inspected and he was found to have received gunshot wounds to his head and his upper body. From all indication, Rahamoon, he died on the spot. We are told that when this crime scene was processed, 11 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all. 
so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be one of the first to be notified. In the final story for today, this one took place last night, Tuesday, August 8th, about some minutes to 9 o'clock. It took place at a spot where jerk chicken and other fast food are sold at York Hill along the Industry Cove Main Road in the Green Island Police Area in the parish of Hanover. We are told that at least five men were at the cook shop. They included Aon Richards, he is 27 years old, and O'Neill Spencer, he is also 27 years old. The unconfirmed reports we are getting is that both men, they are from Mavis Bank in St. Andrew, but they were working at the Princess Hotel, which is under construction. As a result, they were staying in the area. Now, like I said, that part of the information is still unconfirmed, but their names are confirmed. The other three men who were at the cook shop included the chef. He's popularly known as Adi. He's said to be in his late 20s. A man he's called Boise. Boise is said to be in his early 50s. And a man who is known as Rabbi. Rabbi is said to be in his early 40s. We are told that whilst the men were at the cook shop, a hoodlum walked up with a gun in his hand and, from all indication, both O'Neill Spencer and Ian Richards were the target because they were sitting together at a table at the cook shop eating. The hoodlum, he pointed the gun directly at both men and opened gunfire, hitting them all over their bodies. The hoodlum, he then made good his escape. When the shooting subsided, it was realized that the five men who were at the cook shop, they were all shot. Adi and Rabbi, they received gunshot wounds to their feet, while Boise, he received gunshot wounds to his left hand. It is suspected that O'Neill Spencer, he died on the spot. The other four persons, they were rushed to a nearby hospital where Aon Richards, he died whilst he was being treated. The other three men, they were treated and admitted. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, 10 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like. Subscribe and share. Oh, we care. We sing. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. Hey, crime with a mash up Jamaica. Criminals them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaicans mash up Jamaica. Jamaica, 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 the land of 